Okay, hello everyone and welcome to this webinar. Uh, this webinar is uh, one of the webinars that we are doing now uh, due to the release of Promexis 6 software. And uh, I'm happy to have here uh, Mr. Brent Garvin to give this webinar to you. My name is Saila Parmes and uh, I work as a product manager for Romexis software at Plan Mecca in Finland. And uh, uh, I will be uh, answering any of your questions over the questions section. So at any moment of the webinar, if you come up with any questions, please feel free to write them to the questions section and uh, I will answer them. There might be some questions that we will save also for the end of the webinar as we have saved some time uh, at the end for answering uh, some interesting questions that might be interesting for the whole audience. But without further ado, I will uh, let Mr. Brent Garvin introduce himself and uh, start with the presentation. I hope you enjoy. Thank you, Sila, and thank you everyone for joining us. Um, I'm Brent Garvin, the Senior Product Manager for Imaging in the United States. And I've got a lot of experience with Romexis over the years of being with Plan Mecca. And I've seen everything from Dimaxis to Romexis 2, version 3, version 4, and version 5. And I'm so excited to be here with you guys today because Romexis 6 cannot be described as just a facelift to the software. It can't be described as just an answer to a changing operating system with Windows 10, for example, or uh, any sort of Mac operating system. This is in response to the feedback from you, the global dental community, and our Plan Mecca family on all of the information that you shared with us over the years. It's a cultivation of the hours, the days, the weeks, the months, and the years uh, that the best software team in the entire dental world out of Helsinki, Finland, has put together for us. So thanks to all of you uh, back in Helsinki and those in Hoffman Estates um, and around the world that have um, put your efforts into this software that I think mirrors better care through innovation, which is obviously the touchstone of Plan Mecca as a global healthcare leader. So. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to stop sharing my uh, my screen here and let's or in my webcam, and we'll hopefully move on to see in my screen here. So, so Romexis Six obviously has a fantastic new look and feel to the software. The first thing you'll notice under the patient management section is you can acquire the images um, from your, your um, devices from the home screen of the patient uh, management section. As well as you can see here, we have the ability to capture across the top toolbar um, any of the modalities or products that are attached to Romexis um, through the top toolbar. The image browser interface has a slight uh, facelift from the fact that all of your images are centrally located in one image browser. If you want to peruse through the different modules for 2D and 3D, for example, or CAD CAM images, you can do that. Otherwise, all images are at your fingertips under one central image browser. And of course, staying with the theme of Romexis from the past, the image browsers are fully customizable to each user's preference making it fully flexible and easy to use. Obviously, tooth numbering and, and sorting is a major function of the new Romexis 6 that we're proud of, and so hopefully you as a, a user of the software will appreciate those sort of things. When it comes to the 2D module, we've made some updates and changes to the interface. You'll notice now you have the ability to uh, zoom in and overlay um, the images, the single images from a full mouth series, for example, over the top of the entire full mouth series, and then zoom in on those images and make adjustments to those images. But one of the great things about Romexis now is you have the full capability to overlay those 2D images over the top of your 3D images. So for example, if you want to take a panoramic, if you want to go to your photo library and look at intraoral images or photos of, of the patient, those images can be overlaid over the top of the plain views of the 3D image. This is a fantastic way from a patient presentation standpoint 
for you to have a dialogue that makes sense to the patient, that is customizable for each user, and gives you the freedom and flexibility to make it look any way that you want. Now moving on to the 3D module, there's been some significant changes with Romexis 6 that we are so proud of. When it comes to the image modules, we brought back the ability to select the different software modules from the top toolbar rather than the modules being hidden. This makes it a lot easier and a um, way to navigate through the software. And another thing that I think you will really appreciate about the plain views aspect of the software is when you maximize a plain view, you no longer have to worry about not seeing your other plain views. So as you can see here, as we maximize the sagittal view, your coronal view, axial view, and rendering images are smaller thumbnails off to the right here um, that you can still look as you're navigating through the larger maximized image, um, but still maintain um, the other views from your vantage point. When it comes to the toolbars, it is still fully customizable to your needs. So if there's toolbars and icons that you prefer to turn on or off, you can still do that. You can hide toolbars and you have that full flexibility. The biggest thing that I want to draw your attention to is the right toolbar. So for the first time, Romexis 6 allows the user to customize the right hand toolbar. This is going to give you unlimited flexibility, customization from a user perspective. So if there's an icon that you don't need and you don't utilize in Romexis, simply turn it off by right-clicking and selecting that icon to be turned on or off. This is a fantastic way for multiple users to have the ability to set up Romexis their own personal way. The other thing that we brought into Romexis is a brand new workflow wizard. This is going to take education and usability to a whole new level with Romexis 6. We'll be launching several workflow wizards in the uh, initial launch of Romexis 6. So for example, this gives the doctors the ability to utilize the software with what I would call a wizard hand-holding capability. So as you can see on the left-hand side here, the wizard's been activated, and it's walking them step-by-step step each process in the software. So it instructs them what to do, and they have the ability to play a video. So if we're going to select and map something for a cone beam, for example, the clinician can watch a video tutorial. At the same time, on the right, on the main part of their screen, they can actually perform that task and verify that they're doing it properly. So as they complete the task and return back to the workflow wizard, they can select their next task and they can watch a video and then perform that task. So as each task is completed, the operator can continue through the workflow wizard, watch videos, and perform those tasks. This really takes training and education to a whole new level, and it brings it to them at an on-demand um, capability. So when they want to select an implant, for example, it walks them through how they do that. It takes them to the catalog of their choice, and walks them through how they place the implant. And then when we finish up and we want to take them into centric view, they can choose that. They can watch a video and understand the value of centric view and how it's going to help them. And then once again, they can perform that task on the actual image in front of them without having to leave to go to videos outside of their browser. So this is a fantastic way, obviously, to um, look at an image and um, look at it in 360 degree view. And then what you're seeing here is the finished phases of the implant design um, portion of now taking us into guide designing. So the wizard will walk you through and take you right into the guide design module. If you're not familiar with guide design module, this is a feature that can be applied to the Romexa software so that you can now take a design or, a, I'm sorry, a plan of an implant case and actually design it chair side for manufacturing of, for example, as you see here, a surgical guide chair side through 3D printing or outsource it to um, uh, any sort of company that can to print these surgical guides. And you're seeing the clinician here obviously making changes, make uh, adjustments to the 
to the actual surgical guide, uh, making um, viewing windows um, inside the surgical guide, uh, established a uh, support bar. So if we're going across a large expansion like this arch here, and the operator wants to add a bar for support during the 3D printing process, um, they have that luxury as well. And speaking of 3D printing, when it comes to surgical guides, often you may be printing multiple guides at once. And so what you're seeing there is the ability to actually apply the patient's name. You could have the patient's um, number, um, uh, chart number, or whatever identifying factor so that if you are printing multiple surgical guides at one time, you know whose print you are taking out of the printer uh, for what patient. So it really helps with the, uh, the workflow capabilities for uh, the staff when printing multiple uh, imp implant guides, for example. And then the last thing on the implant uh, guide module is you have the luxury of now being able to select and create an entire implant surgical guide report. This is a fantastic way for you to create a PDF file that can be attached to or in, sit inside your practice management software. It'll carry along the patient's information. It'll automatically take photo images of the comb beam, the measurements that were taken, and the design that was applied, as well as indicate the actual manufacturer of the implant, the diameter and length of the implant, and all other relative data regarding the guided surgery kit that was um, used on that patient. Once again, this can be taken into your practice management software by simply right-clicking copy. And if your practice management software allows for a right-click paste, you can certainly do that and bring that into your practice management stand standpoint, which is a fantastic way to address, let's say, patient um, uh, mitigation uh, sort of things, risk mitigation, and having things on file when it comes to uh, placing implants. When it comes to the CAD CAM portion of our software, you will notice there's been some updates and changes to that aspect of the software. Uh, model Analyzer, there are some new features in here. Um, obviously, the ability to now be able to, to do arch measurements within the Model Analyzer, which is uh, a, a nice new addition to uh, the Model Analyzer program. And if we want to do any sort of comparing between um, scans, you have the ability to do a pre-op, post-op sort of uh, scan procedure and compare those two images side by side for obviously a proper patient presentation. If you want to colorize uh, the images, you can certainly do that. If you want to make modifications, if you want to turn off some of the layers, so let's say we want to turn off the, the upper arch like you see here, you have that flexibility. And then to take it a step further, if you want to do some sort of superimposition of the two intraoral scans, for example, as you can see there, the two um, arches were placed on top of each other, and then the software automatically highlights um, the areas um, where the changes have taken place. And then when it comes to lab ordering, it's all built now with inside Romexis, so you can certainly send off. If you want to create a model for printing purposes, you have the ability to um, adjust your models. You can customize it. So if you want a hollow base to maybe cut back on resin material um, capabilities of your 3D printer to save on costs, you can hollow that out. If you prefer to have a solid base um, like traditional models, stone models are, you have that luxury as well. Uh, being digital now just takes anything analog and brings it into a fully digital world. And then the last thing on the CAD CAM side, um, as far as uh, ortho software is, um, um, is, is um, a factor here, the new 3D Ortho Studio has a major facelift, um, giving us the ability to customize those models so if there's different um, sizes that you want to create so, so that you can adjust your material usage, once again, from a 3D printing standpoint, you do have that luxury in Romexa 6 to customize it and make those changes. And when it comes to bracket creation, we can now um, apply which teeth are going to have brackets. The brackets are, are uh, 
placed on there. And then you have full freedom and adjustability of those brackets um, just by utilizing these navigation tools that you see here to simply rotate and make modifications to your brackets. And then obviously finishing up with a simulation for the patient so that you can show the movements before uh, the procedure is accepted and create a simulation for the patient. When it comes to our smile design capabilities, there have been some improvements on smile design. You'll notice that the first thing that we've done is really elevated our artificial intelligence capabilities with smile design to make it user friendly, uh, calibrating the image is much easier, um, cropping is much easier, um, all of those sort of tools and flexibilities that um, have been asked for for some time are now incorporated into the new Romexis 6 smile design module. One of the things that I really like about the new smile design is we now have the ability for the clinician to draw a sample implant for patient presentation. So rather than um, going into our 3D software and doing the, the plan, we can start with the face photo of the patient. We can draw in a whole new um, tooth or restoration here um, so that we can see the profile of it. And then if we want to um, suggest an implant that's going to be in this place, we can just draw it and customize the size of it and just show the patient um, some sort of uh, preview um, ahead of time. And then when it comes to that smile design, we have now brought the smile design capabilities right into Romexis CAD CAM so that we can draw a silhouette of that smile design. So for example, you've just designed your smile design based upon the patient's um, facial anatomy in a 2D format. You have now gone into your CAD CAM software and designed your anterior restorations, for example, like you see here. And now we are looking at a digital wax up of the patient. However, we now have the valuable data of the actual smile design. So now the clinician can say, as I'm looking at this digital wax up, so to speak, what sort of modifications we need to make to that actual 3D design. So you can see here, we're making pulls and, um, and adjustments with the uh, rubber tooth capabilities um, of Romexis and we are bringing that tooth to the proper um, design perspective. And then if we want to make adjustments, let's say to the uh, soft tissue line and make adjustments for the patient, we can also do that inside um, that silhouette capability. And then the last thing that I want to share with you is Romexis has always had a fantastic tutorial library. We've now expanded that within Romexis. So we Hope that we've created enough videos that you have on-demand learning at your fingertips with over 100 videos and growing right inside Romexis. So just simply click, click your play button. You will be navigated to a easy to understand breakdown of the different videos of Romexis by module. And that will all be available at your fingertips right inside Romexis. So hopefully this short little presentation kind of gave you a glimpse of what is being introduced with Romexis 6 and you see some wonderful value that we do and we're so excited that you uh, joined us today and now at this point, um, Silo, we can probably open it up for questions um, for anyone that has any questions on, on this software. Okay, thank you Brent for this uh, fantastic presentation. So I selected three questions that I think would be interesting for the whole audience to hear the answer to. So uh, maybe uh, the first one, maybe I can also answer that. It was, uh, how do we get the Romexis 6 update? And uh, well, that is, of course, uh, in uh, wherever you are in the world. So you should contact your local distributor to request for the Romexis 6 update. And actually, the second question was a bit in relation to that, and I think Brent can answer that better. So uh, when will the Romexis 6 be available in the U.S.? 
So as far as the US, um, the software is complete and we are uh, communicating with both our dental dealers and end users as we speak. So I would anticipate some sort of official announcement going out um, as early as Monday of next week with instructions of the rollout plan uh, here in the United States for the end users as well as uh, the dental dealers. And uh, the third uh, question that I selected was, uh, this was for you, Brent. So uh, uh, as uh, now you presented the new features of uh, Romexis 6, and but in the beginning you told that uh, Romexis uh, was such a great software. So uh, what do you think in general are the biggest benefits of uh, Romexis? They might not be that, in, uh, that uh, only inclusive in the Romexis 6 version, but in the whole. Well, I, I think there's a lot of um, things that are being brought to the table. The big things that stand out to me from my standpoint, uh, being a user of Romexis for so many years, is um, a lot of clinicians have asked for resources that are readily available. And I think for the first time in our industry, we're seeing what I call dentists helping dentists. So they actually have a wizard built inside the software that navigates them through the process. No software that I've ever seen in the dental uh, industry has that sort of capability. So if we can empower the clinicians in the comfort of their own office or home to be able to go through a scan, um, that really takes training, I think, and education to a whole new level. Um, I think you're going to see some wonderful things with our first um, uh, PAC system that's being launched by uh, Plan Mecca, which will now bring multiple uh, locations together under one all-in-one software of Romexis and allow us to bring different products into Romexis as well. So for example, if you have uh, two offices and you have our products as well as a mix of other products, we give you that freedom of choice to choose what products are best for you. Um, but having one software platform I think is something that um, everyone's been asking for for a long time. I, I equate it to practice management software. I call this imaging management software um, because our industry has spoken years ago with practice management software where we wouldn't want to piecemeal all these different modalities and billing and, and charting all in different practice management uh, platforms. We want them all in one location. So Romexis, I think, does that, has been doing it for years. But now we have that capability of bringing in multiple products into the software. I think that's a huge advantage uh, for Romexis. But the list goes on and on and on. So I, I think those are probably my true two personal uh, big highlights with with Romexis. But I could probably spend all day talking about all the wonderful things I like. <laughs> so hey, you guys did a fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you. Uh... There has been uh, actually, or I can mention uh, other things that came to my mind now as well. So uh, to all of you who are in interested in updating uh, or upgrading your Romexis, your existing Romexis software. So I want to remind you that please check this also with your local distributor. But uh, we have now some offers on the different specialist modules. So if you haven't yet had for example, implant planning or smile design in your Romexis installation. So now would be a good moment to think of adding those with a special price. And uh, and also one like uh, Brent presented those uh, wizards that we have in Romexis at the moment. So there's uh, those two uh, for implant planning and smile design, but we are adding more. Uh, we have already some plans for some wizards, but please pass us, or you can also now write to the questions section if you have uh, ideas for wizards that would be help, helpful just for you uh, in your daily work. So we will take those into account when we uh, introduce new wizards in the following updates of uh, Romexis. And, and Sila, if you don't mind me saying, um, from my experience and my standpoint of having experience in the imaging world for, it seems like, 20 plus years now, um, most software uh, companies are outsourcing their software. So hardware and software doesn't really work in tandem with each other. And I think that's the benefit of a family-owned company like, like Plan Mecca, um, that our software is written locally by Plan Mecca. It's built in tandem with our hardware. So as hardware and software changes, you can keep up with each other. We're not at the mercy of 
some third-party applications that um, slow us down in the world of innovations. And I think that's that's a big, huge advantage for Romexis um, from an outsider's perspective, as well as your response. I mean, you listen when 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 clinicians talk. Plamec actually listens. It's not just filed away for something to happen in the future. You you guys respond very very fast. So. We appreciate yeah. that here, obviously, in the United States as well as all over the world. Yes, and I hope uh, our customers uh, keep on telling us uh, things that we should improve or we should add because it's many of the things that we changed also for Romexi 6 were based on those wishes that we received. So uh, please let us hear your voice if you, if you have some uh, ideas that we could add to the following Romexis versions. Okay. But uh, I think that would be then all. There are a few questions that I will still answer by writing, but uh, more uh, uh, detailed questions. So uh, I want to thank you, Brent, for this session very much. Uh, and uh, to all of the, uh, the attendees, I hope you have enjoyed the webinar. And uh, probably there will be a recording also available on this webinar afterwards if you want to check it out later. But apart from that, I want to uh, wish you all a very nice day or evening, uh, depending on your location. And I hope to hear you in our uh, other upcoming uh, webinars. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.